Hey guys, welcome back to Do It At A Dime with Catherine. If it's your first time here, I'm a Dollar Tree and organizing expert, and I believe anybody can live in a home that they love on a tiny budget. If you like peaceful, calm surroundings and crazy, simple systems that anybody, and I mean anybody can keep up with, you are in the right place. Today I'm sharing with you easy ways you can get organized right now if you are a ladybug organizer. Let me explain. This is in collaboration with my friend Cassandra Arson from Clutterbug. I have known her for many years and I love her authenticity and what she brings to this platform as a professional organizer. And she messaged me because she has a brand new show coming out on HGTV called Hot Mess House. I am so excited to watch. And my biggest takeaway from Cass has been the four organizing styles. She believes there are people who are visual organizers or or people who like a simple environment. There are people who organize in a detailed way or people who organize in a big picture way. And she's broken that down into the four clutter bugs. I am a ladybug. I am a big picture thinker. I need simple solutions and I want peace in my home. Hey Catherine, I thought of you because you are a ladybug just like me. We both need fast, easy, simple solutions when it comes to organization. I'm hoping that you'll share some of your favorite organizing tips so that other people can be inspired if they're a ladybug too. I'm so excited for this video because these tricks, it would be an understatement to say, have changed my life. And we definitely share the real deal over here. I call them the power of 20. Number one, it starts here. If you're like me and crave a peaceful environment, we tend to be hiders and pilers. Pick one area of your house to minimize by 20% and the more you practice it, the easier it gets. It's like building up muscles. This is my high school jacket. I was a uh, band nerd, what can I say? I'm not extreme about it. I take just 20 minutes per area. I do it a few times a year. Honestly, usually when the area starts to bug me enough that I wanna do something about it. Oh my goodness. This is all the stuff I used to have on my desk when I was a teacher. I can let go of these things. And I love the $20, 20 minute rule. If I can replace something for under $20 in 20 minutes and it's making my life stall out, I should let it go. After all, you are in control of your stuff. Really for me, it's become a practice that I adopt and less of a project. And working in little increments really helps me. Because honestly, I don't wanna give up my hobbies. I love them. Copper's being very copperish right now and stepping all, all, all over all these DIYs. And he's brought a monkey in. I don't want to say I'm lazy, but sometimes I can be a little lazy. It, is, it has got to be so easy that I don't have to think about it. Maybe, maybe that's the key. We can, we can put a positive spin on that. That's what happens. But when our hobbies get out of control, it causes more stress than it does fun. So I aim for 20% free space. And this is something that I have to stay on top of. What I really like to do and what I recently did in my craft room is create a zone to hold my items. And once those items exceed that space, I have got to let something go. It doesn't have to be extreme or complicated. And as your life seasons change, sometimes you have to change your house around too, which is why I aim for done and not perfect. I like to remind myself at the end of the day that having a little bit less is peace and it gives me a chance to be grateful for having more than enough. We have so much more than we think. I really believe that you are only 20% limited in your space. 80% is fixable, is changeable, and a creative solution is available. I love shopping at the dollar store. Every single item you see featured in this video was either from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart. You may be working with a less than ideal space or a really small one, but that doesn't mean you can't find a solution for it. The system I create should be so easy that it is simpler for me to put it away than it is for me to keep it out. If I can put something away in 20 seconds, I am way more likely to do it. And that is worth it organizing. I also have experienced over the years that most spaces can be completed for 20 dollars. This is just some foam core board and dollar store contact paper, some dollar store bins. You don't need a lot of money.
you guys are always asking about the organizing bins. So these are some of my favorites for the fridge. I love these colors and sticking with square and rectangular bins. So pretty. This is why you see me talk so much about great bins and containers. I keep containers because they help limit what I am able to keep and tell me when it's time to declutter. I love giving the hard work to somebody else to tell me what to do. If you are short on time, try keeping just one type of item per container. That way it's really easy to put it back and it's not going to get messy even when you're working quickly. We keep it pretty mostly clean, right Owen? But I think my favorite is the 80-20 rule. I aim for 80% to be done 80% of the time. That means 20% is left undone. Sometimes things get a little messy and give yourself that grace. I work with so many people who feel a lot of shame, especially because they don't feel like they have time to keep things super organized. And you know what? It's a matter of getting up and trying again, even when you're working with a small space. All right, so some of my favorites I wanna share with you are actually some of the unconventional ones. You don't have to have a perfect space. This is a micro kitchen in Tokyo, Japan. I just went to the dollar store in Japan and created a mini pantry and categorized their food and really simple solutions that they would be able to keep up with. Sometimes the less than ideal situations turn out to be some of my favorites. I also really loved working with this client. She was turning a messy closet into a home office. We had a very small budget and did this mostly from Ikea and Walmart. We had these curtain rods for wrapping paper, plastic shoe organizers for their extra supplies. Oh my gosh, Owen, this was such a fun project to do and it didn't take a lot of time at all. It's gotta be easy and I like to feel at peace. And the great thing is, is it doesn't have to be perfect. We're all a little wild and a little broken and any steps you can take in the right direction, oh man, it is so worth it. If you are brand new here, would you click that subscribe button? I would love to have you join the Do It On A Dime family. I love getting organized and doing it on a budget. It's really cool to be able to collab with Cass. We have been, man, she and I, we are like the dinosaurs of YouTube. We have been doing this for such a long time and I'm just so stinking proud of her. Thank you guys so much for being here. If nobody has told you today, you are enough. And I cannot wait to catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>